good morning here uh, this is not the topic okay this is uh, the topic from the previous video there are uh, viscous resistance of food step bearing was discussed okay so in my in my previous video you can watch that thing but knowledge uh, of uh, that video or the, that calculation mathematical calculation is required uh, for the discussion of this topic here the topic is not food step bearing it is collar bearing okay so erase this food step the word food step you erase and instead you will write here collar okay is that visible that color yes collar that is visible so collar bearing so this was food step bearing and now i am talking about collar bearing so collar bearing so if i draw here somewhere here uh, i think this light is not visible clearly so this is okay this is uh, a pipe uh, it is a horizontal pipe and here somewhere there collar is there this is the collar okay what is the function of this collar this is collar okay this is collar this is a circular disc with a central hole size of the hole is same as the size of the shaft this is the shaft not pipe okay this is shaft and this is collar okay so and here there is uh, what bearing there is bearing and uh, in between this in between this there is oil okay there is oil there is oil of thickness t small d same as the previous one okay uh, you have seen that uh, you have uh, seen this as resistance of uh, general bearing viscous resistance of full step bearing etc okay and uh, here also same thing is there so here film thickness is also t so here also you have to take one elementary ring okay elementary ring and uh, calculation will start from that uh, calculation of shear stress using newton's law of viscosity mu is equal to tau uh, sorry tau is equal to mu du dy means velocity gradient and that velocity gradient is equal to nothing but uh, phi minus 0 divided by t so that way you should approach uh, calculation is same as viscous resistance of full step bearing okay same but here the integration limit will not be from 0 to capital R it will be from inner radius to outer radius inner radius means this much okay this uh, this is R1 okay this is R1 is the inner radius and this is outer radius R2 measure from the same line center line of the circle okay so this is R2 okay so integration limit will, will be from R1 to R2 okay this is integration sign and here it will be R1 here it will be R2 okay so first you calculate shear stress then you calculate uh, what shear force means tangential force and then you calculate torque for the elementary ring and then you integrate this t denotes torque then you integrate the same thing from r1 to r2 so here the result will not be r2 to r4 it will be it will be what it will be just erase this one here you write r2 to the power 4 minus r1 to the power 4 okay r2 to the power 4 by r1 uh, r2 to the power 4 minus r1 to the power 4 okay similarly power calculation will be same result will be same but instead of r to the power 4 there this difference will appear okay this difference should appear here so here multiplying factor is uh, this one r2 to the power 4 minus r1 to the power 4 that is blue color that is visible yeah that is also visible oh okay there is no problem then okay so this is all about viscous resistance of collar bearing okay i'll provide you the link of the previous video that is viscous resistance of uh, full step bearing 
that link will be given in the description of this video okay so if you want to watch that one research registration so of footstep bearing you just click the link okay if you click the link you will get that video okay so in the description box of this video that will be provided okay anyway so this is the result this is what power absorbed power absorbed in overcoming the viscous resistance of color uh, yes this is the resistance of color bearing okay okay so this is the end of this video thank you thank you for watching this video and uh, have a nice day okay to all of you